Nyan, nyan. Nyan, nyan. Uh, what is going on? I wrote thick. Universal Cool Japan 2024. Kaiman. <laughs> Universal Cool Japan is back here at Universal Studios Japan for 2024. We have Detective Conan, he's back. Monster Hunter and a new addition, My Hero Academia. I am really excited to try all the food, check out the merchandise, and of course there's entertainment. So, let's go. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna head inside and watch the My Hero Academia, the real 4D show. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> Here we go. Guitar Mind, Final Curtain. <laughs> Time to go. Guitar Mind is an original villain that is only in this show. So if you want to see him, you got to come to University of Japan to check it out. A fun show, you know, they always do these 4D shows and I, I always love it because they're usually original, so there's original stuff that you can only see here, so it's a really good way to get you to come here. I think it's brilliant. Again, always a lot of fun. And now, of course, there's merchandise, so we're going to head inside here and check out My Hero Academia merchandise. So this is where you're going to exit, and they actually have all the cool Japan stuff. So this side is My Hero Academia. And this side is Detective Conan and I believe Monster Hunter. So we're going to check out all this stuff. And look at this. Omiyage. Cookies. There's 1,800 yen and it comes in a fun package. <laughs> Ooh. Look at all this merchandise. There's so much. Look at it. Look at it. Look at all of it. There's a lot here, so I'm gonna go through this stuff a little bit quickly than I normally would, just because there's so much stuff. So yeah, we have bracelets and jewelry here. Oh, well, these are fun. So you get the little plush, and then you can put it inside the case here. How much are these? 3,200 yen. It comes in a little um, can badge, a button. And of course, we've got headbands. Oh. <laughs> That is really cute. Limit of three, how much are these? These are 3,300 yen, so we got all the different headbands. And by all I mean there's two here, there must be more. Oh yeah, other side. And we got more jewelry sets here. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that is so cute. Oh yeah, here are the headbands over here. I like this one the best. I kinda like this one too. Oh, we got a mug. That looks like a grenade. 3,500. Uh, and it pops out like that. <laughs> that is cool. And, ooh, it has such a good feel when you open it. It's like slides, look at that. That's some pretty decent quality. Are these slippers? These are slippers. 3,600 yen for the slippers. <laughs> I kind of love that. And we got some plush over here. Limit three per person. 2,800 yen for these. Oh, got a headband for the bath. How much are these? These are 2,400 yen. And what is this? Little mini towels, 2,200 yen. More plush, so if you want a bigger plush, they got some here. Another mug, Universal Studios Japan. How much is this? Ah, 2100 yen. 
It's a little wristband. How much are you? 2,600 yen. If you've been watching my Cool Japan videos for a while now, you know how much I love anything like the collaboration that also says Universal Studios Japan on it. I love that. Oh, it's an echo bag. 3,500 yen. So it folds out. Well, that's fun. Oh, we got keychains. So keychain set, how much is this? 2,800 yen. And we got some ballpoint pens. 2,900 yen. Ooh, clear files. Clear file set. 1,900. I do love me a clear file. This is what they all look like on the inside there. Can you buy those? I think you can. Oh. Well, we'll find out. But we have more merchandise to go through, so. Okay, we saw this stuff. Well, some of it anyway but they have it separated by character. <laughs> so we've got the t-shirts here. 4,500 yen. Small, medium, large, and extra large. Anything on the back? No, it says plus extra on the back. Yes, you can. Yes, you can buy it. 8,900, a little pricey. Medium and large, it looks like they have. That's really nice. It's a little thin, so it's not gonna keep you warm, but it's all about the aesthetic, right? The other t-shirts, they're all gonna be 45, yeah. Boom. And on the back, plus ultra. Yeah, so they're all the same price, but you have a variety to choose from. I kinda like this one the best. I like pink, I look good in pink. Pink's my color. Ah! Ooh, plushes, how much are these? I don't know how much this is. Oh, 3,300. 33. It says to squeeze them. I can feel something in it, but it's not doing anything. Oh, because you have to pull the tab out. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna pull the tab out. But that's cute. Oh, we have a villain shirt. Look at the villain shirt here. Uh, 4,500, and F, F means free size, so it's one size. And there's a hoodie. And how much is the hoodie? The hoodie is 73, that's the front of it there. Oh, I like this up here. <laughs> the displays always look really nice. Oh, they have little blind boxes that you can buy, so 950 yen. And these are all the different ones that you could potentially get. And there's more over here. There's little acrylic stands. 950 for these as well. So we got all the different characters here. I started collecting acrylic stands and I don't know if that was a good idea or not. I like that I can make them flat if I want to swap them out. Cause I have a binder and I've been starting to put them in there. Oh, for the little medallions. 1300 yen for that. Oh yeah, you can get the medallions here. And these are 200 yen a piece for that. So you pick the one that you want. We have some more omiyage. And these are katsu flavored. Kind of what's on the outside of the katsu, like tonkatsu, pork katsu, things like that. That's, that's actually, that sounds really good. How much is this? How much are you? I don't see a price. Uh, it's something. Sometimes I can't find the price right away. Ooh, we got chocolate crunch. And it comes with these fun little tins. 1,900 yen for those. Ah, here's the katsu. 1,400 yen. And there's 10 inside, so that's what it looks like. Mmm. So that's all they have for the My Hero Academia stuff, but there's more merchandise over here. Let's go check it out. They have Monster Hunter merchandise. <laughs> Look how cute this headband is. 2,800 yen. This is super cute. How could you not love that? That is adorable. And we have a t-shirt, Monster Hunter t-shirt. It says Universal Studios Japan on it. And I love the little designs on here, all the icons. That's really nice. How much is this? You are 4,500 yen, and it's kind of like glittering here. Glittering, glittery. It's really nice, I like that. And it comes in small, medium, and large it looks like. And we have some other items here. We have a little compact mirror, 
2,800 yen for that. And a sword, 2,400 yen. It's a pass case. You can put your annual pass in here or your park ticket. Comes with the lanyard. That is, that is really cool. I love Monster Hunter. I've played it before. Maybe it's not as much as I would like to. I need to get back into it. It's a lot of fun. We have a barrel. I was gonna say a barrel of laughs, a barrel of monkeys. Is this a barrel of dynamite? Probably. Actually, yes, this would be a barrel of dynamite. <laughs> it's kind of hefty. There's beans in it. Like, well, you can see it. It's sturdy. She's sturdy. And this is 2,000 yen. Two different hoodies. So we have a white one, and then there's also a navy blue one. And these are, how much are you? You are 7,200 yen. So that's the front. And then we got the back. And these come in sizes small, medium, and large. There's still more. Come with me, come with me. Come hither with me. What is this? Memo box. It's so squishy. 1900 yen. That's so cute. And look, look, look at the memos. Look what you can get. Oh. And then down here, <gasps> the pigs. You can get the little pigs. 5800. Look, look at them. They're so cute. Ah. Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? Why? Guys, please tell me why. Why are you all so cute? <laughs> anyway, if you want to adopt one and take one home with you, they are 3,000 yen. Oh, there's the, sorry, as I touch your butt. There's little beans in him, so he sits up. That is so adorable. Yan yan. Yan yan. 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 Take you home. Okay, enough of that. Wait, you can buy them a winter, you can buy them a winter outfit. You can buy them a winter outfit. Look at, look at the winter outfit. Look, look at that. Why? 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 There doesn't need to be a winter outfit for 3,900 yen, but there is a winter outfit. No, that's not fair. That is not fair to anybody. Same with this pillow. This pillow's not fair. 4,300 yen for this adorable pillow. And it's nice and soft. And it says University of Japan on the back. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. But we are going to continue on. There's more, there's little charms. We got charms here. 1,600 yen for these charms. So stinking cute. Ah, 1,700 yen for this. There's a Monster Hunter book full of cookies. I always knew that the Monster Hunter book was full of cookies. 1,600 yen for 24 of them. And they have all the different icons from the game. If you're a Monster Hunter player, you know all of these icons. That's really cool. I like that. Oh, there's a little bit more. We have a steel tumbler for 3,300 yen. You can see that. It's nice. It's gonna keep your drink hot or cold. Very popular. I have a whole bunch of those at home. And oh my goodness, my clear file set. 1300 yen for this. It doesn't say University of Japan on it though. Oh, that's, that's a shame. But the back of this, this glows in the dark. That's what it says up there. It says it glows in the dark. Detective Conan has his own merchandise as well. There's a lot. We have a hat. We have a bucket hat. The 90s called and it picked up and it said, hey, our hats are back in style now. I'm not gonna complain with that. How much is this? 4,300 yen. Oh, this little strap here, the instructions on here say you can clip on a little plush to go on your hat. Either clip in here or up on here. Cause you know, if you've been watching the channel for a while, a lot of the plushes will come with little pins in the back, usually on their head, and you can put it on your hat. There's also a little pocket for them as well. That is. That is clever. That is super clever. Yeah, it says the Detective Conan on there. How did people come up with this stuff? That's clever marketing. If you, if you worked on this and you came up with this idea, kudos. It's 
very good. I never would have thought of that. T-shirt, sorry, I cannot read that one in particular. Oh no, never mind. It says detect Detective Conan. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. I was worried, I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to read this on camera. No, it, it says Detective Conan on the top there. So this is probably what, 4,500 yen? Small, medium, and large for the shirts. Ah, here are the hugging mascots that you can get that go on your hat. 2,700 yen, all the different mascots. So there's just the three, it looks like it. There he is, cute. And we have these little accessories. Ticket holder set, 2,900 yen. So your ticket goes here and then, I don't know, whatever you want to put in here to show off. And it has a little, what do you call this? Not zip tie, it retracts. A retractor, and you have other characters as well. So much merchandise. There's always a lot of Detective Conan merchandise. Now this, I want to show you, this is really funny. These are punny, punny. So Haichu is a candy here in Japan. It's just like, it's a chewy little candy, right? And it comes with, in different flavors. So they have this here with the case, and then they have these different sayings on it, which is all puns. So the top one, so it says, Suisekichu means chasing, to chase after. Deito chu means I'm on a date. And then rabu rabu chu means I'm in love. And then this one, the last one here, sonan chao, which is like, huh, no, forget it. If someone was saying something to me and I didn't like what they're saying, I'd be like, that's sonan chao. I love a good pun. How much are these? These are 1800 yen and it comes in a really nice tin. Remember what I said earlier about acrylic stands? Ugh, come on, it has, the Universal Studios Japan arches. How much is this, 27? Pen, oh, it's a pen stand, I see. So this big one is 2,900 yen. A ball, ball points pen set is 2,700 yen. I'm really all over the place, don't mind me, there's just a lot of stuff. 2,700 yen, little charms of all the different characters. This is a sticky memo set with the cards. 1,900 yen for these. And a clear file set. So many clear file sets. And this is 1,900 yen. And they have smaller ones with all the different characters. Oh, that one is falling. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall out, I was scared. Scared myself. Little candy case that says, kicking enhancement shoes. It's a very small shoe size. I guess it makes sense, Conan's uh, a tiny child, the size of a child. 2,000 yen, so little soccer balls, candies, and they're yogurt flavored. Oh, they're gummies. And this is a face towel, 1,900 yen for the face towel. You can see the design right here, what it is. We are moving through these. Some cookies, cookie tin, and this is 2,000 yen. And you can see all the cookie designs here with all the different characters. And then we have a wall of stuff. So I showed you all this. I love the display. That t-shirt we haven't seen yet. 4,500 yen for this white t-shirt. Nothing on the back. And it comes in sizes small and medium, it looks like. Oh, small, medium, large, and extra large. And remember, in Japan, for sizes, you usually want to go one up than what you typically wear. So for me, I usually wear a medium, sometimes a large, depends on the brand of clothing. I'll have to go up one. So usually a large or extra large is what I would wear in Japan compared to back home in Canada. We did not see this. This is nice. This has been the trend for a while, not just at Universal Studios Japan, but just in general. These shoulder bags that have the clear opening on it so you can put your little plushes in it so you can show them off. And it's always themed to something. And of course, this one is Detective Conan, 4,500 yen. The team members did a lot of work to make this look pretty, so I want to make sure it stays pretty. We still got some more stuff. Can badges. We have lucky, or not lucky bags, blind bags of all the different badges. 700 yen each. And you can get, what is how many? Three, nine, 12, 15, 18, 20, 22. Did I count that right? Let's just say I did. Oh, it says 21. 
<laughs> Moving on. What is this? Limited quantities of, this looks like a jewelry box. 5,200 yen for the jewelry box here. It's actually quite hefty. Oh, uh, is this for your window? Oh, sun catcher, yeah. 4,900 yen. That's really pretty. There's always just really pretty merchandise. They do a great job with it. Hey, if you ever needed Q-tips to clean your ears, they're Detective Conan themed, here you go. 1,300 yen. More of the little shoulder buddy. Shoulder buddies? Hugging mascot. This is a kendo bag. 2,900 yen, like a small version of it. It's really adorable. Look at the omamori on there. That is really nice. Date chu. <laughs> if you're going on a date, then there you go. You can get, get your date this. 2,600 yen. Are they handcuffs? Those are, those are handcuffs. More kendo, 1,800 yen. So you got the kendo mask on there. That's really nice. I like the displays. They're really nice. There's another thing over here I haven't shown you yet. We have this hoodie. And this is a one size. Remember, if it says F, that means free size, which means one size fits all. So it's 8,900 yen for this. 2,900 yen, these are earrings. Different earrings, yeah, and a bracelet or necklace. Yeah, it's like a, oh, it says in English. I was trying to read the back here. <laughs> ear cuff and necklace set. And there is one more thing that I want to show you really quickly here. We have the little blind bags, blind boxes, 1300 yen. And then you can see down here all the different ones that you could possibly get. That's really elegant. That's nice. Well, if you're a fan of Detective Conan or Monster Hunter or My Hero Academia, I already forgot what we did. There's a lot of merchandise for Cool Japan, so make sure you come and check it out. Wow, we still have lots to do, so let's get going. You can't have a special event without some special event food, so we are trying the My Hero Academia food that they have at a food cart here, just in front of the attraction. First up, we have Deku's Chorito, which is chocolate and pistachio. I love the packaging, and I love that it says smash on it. It's very sweet. The chocolate is chocolate. There's a lot of chocolate in this. You know how I feel about chocolate. <laughs> and the icing on the top is the pistachio. It gives it a nice nutty flavor. It's nice and creamy. I quite like that. Mm. I love when Universal here, they put so much icing on the top. I'm a sucker for icing. I'm one of those people that I would rather just eat the icing off the top of a cupcake or something. So this is right up my alley with the icing. Next up, we're trying Bakugo's steamed bun with pork inside. I, I love the packaging with all these things. They always do such a great job with the packaging. Like, I don't want to throw it away. I want to flatten it and put it in a binder and laminate it so that I can look at it in 30 years. I may have done that when I was a child with certain things, but we're not talking about that today. We'll take a look on the inside here, just break it open. You can see the pork inside. It looks nice and saucy too, look at that. Ooh. I just saw on the inside here, the Japanese says essentially, teach me the recipe for mabudofu. Oh, so that's, okay. This is mabudofu, which is like the spicy minced pork with tofu. I don't know if there's tofu in this, but that's kind of what mabudofu is. So let's try this out. It's spicy. I was worried it was gonna be just a plain pork bun. No, it's spicy like mabudofu. If you've ever had it before, you know it, it has a kick, right? It's spicy. This is spicy exactly like that. There's a lot of flavor with this. Uh, the steam bun is a steam bun. You don't really taste anything. It's more of a vessel for the contents inside. I'm very happy with this. Out of the two, I'm gonna say the steam bun. If you have to choose one, get the steam bun. I love the steam bun. Oh, did you think that was all the food that they had? No, no, no. We're gonna to head to the Bellagerie here because they have more. 
My Hero Academia food. Yes. We have the almighty special. Look at this packaging. I know I say this every video we do here at Universal. The packaging is always just spot on. How could you not love this? So this is a special pork cutlet sandwich with tomato curry or curry tomato and a little chicken salad. <laughs> it comes with some cute little Italian dressing. And just like the steam bun, there's a little message on here. And this says, Gohan Ishoni Tabeo. Let's eat together. Or do you want to eat together? That's cute. That's fine. Here's a look at the sandwich. It's really saucy, much like myself. So I know it's probably going to be really good. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of pork cutlet. Tonkatsu curry, tonkatsu, just tonkatsu. It's delicious. Is there cheese on this? There's cheese and potato on here. I mean, this is like all my food groups. The sauce is deliciously tangy. It's a tonkatsu sauce, so it's kind of, it's tangy and sweet, and it pairs perfectly with the pork cutlet. The pork cutlet's a, it's a little thin. I prefer my, my pork cutlet's thick, but this is still really good. Look at the cute little salad, I like that. It's a cool chicken salad. The Italian dressing makes it nice. That was bread. Boom! <laughs> so this is a tomato and curry soup. Oh, you can very, you can very smell the curry. Man, I cannot speak at all, but that's okay. But we got the curry here and a bunch of vegetables. Got to get your vegetables in. I am a big fan of that. Mmm, the curry packs a punch. Ooh, it's like a nice little lingering curry spice. The curry flavor is not too prominent, which is nice. And you can really taste the tomato. The tomato is, it's kind of sweet, actually. Well, this is nice. There's a little Italian sausage in there, giving it even more spice. This is really good for a cold day. Uh, I'm just gonna wash it down with the Coke Zero. They have a nice wrapper on here. It just slides on. Remember, Japan does not have Diet Coke, so if you're a Diet Coke drinker, they only have Coke Zero. Here we have All Might's Detroit Smash! There's like three exclamation marks here. And this is a lemon squash and passion fruit. There we go. I love the motif on here. It looks like his helmet, like with the lemons. And we have the passion fruit on the bottom. You can see all that. I guess there's lemon ice on the top. We're gonna mix it up. You can see the passion fruit seeds in there. Yum. That's definitely passion fruit. Mm. I'm a fan of passion fruit. Oh, the lemon gives it a nice, like, well, sour, lemon sour flavor. This is quite refreshing. I don't know if for a cold day like today, maybe if we're sitting inside. I, I enjoy this, yeah. Did you think we were done? Oh no, we are not done. We have two desserts to try. So the first one we're trying is Ochako's Zero Gravity Strawberry Mousse and Lemon Jelly Dessert. I told you these names were long. This looks actually really lovely. I love the presentation on this. We got Ochako on here. She's jumping. You can keep that, you can put it in your binder. I like that this is a different take on a mousse. There's jelly on top of it, on top of the mousse, with a whole bunch of fruit. I really like the boulangerie. I always recommend it to people because I think the food here in general is just really good. The sandwiches are delicious. There's one vegan menu item on here. It's a really great place and the boulangerie is open early. So let's say you're here on your second day, you can come here for breakfast. What is going on? They are not missing with this food. This food is, like I think out of, like, out of everything I've eaten today, probably my least favorite thing has been the churro and that's not a surprise. If you watch this channel for a while, you know I don't care for churros, but all this food is just falling off my spoon. No, I, like I'm not, I'm not even joking. Everything is just, it's, it's a hitting. Jelly and fruit, where can you go wrong with that? Look at that strawberry mousse. 
And you can see bits of strawberry in it too. Mm. It tastes like a strawberry smoothie. And it has like, I think there's hint of like cheese in it. I can taste a little bit of cheese, I think. I take back everything I've ever said towards a mousse and the ill will I had. It's all been rectified today. Another dessert, another long name, bear with me here. Todoroki's half cold, half hot, fromage blanc, orange, and spice. There's spice on this cake. Okay, I don't, well, let's, let's just have the spice first. Let's just, right into it. Look at that. What is happening with my taste buds? It is hot, it's getting hotter as I speak. The fromage is tasty, delicious. I love anything with cheese in a dessert, beautiful. My taste buds don't know why there is spice happening with this and I am not mad at it. That is fun. Yeah, it, it just keeps getting hotter. And then there's the not so spicy side. And on the inside, there's some other fruit in the middle there. The middle is orange too. Well done. The spice is still, still going. Out of the two desserts, I'm gonna say I really like this one. This one is probably my pick. If I had to choose one, get this one. It's an adventure for your taste buds, as you just saw. And if you're gonna get a drink, get this one. Next, we're going up to Monster Hunter XR Walk. I haven't done this before. I'm actually quite excited. Now, really quickly, you're probably wondering, Chris, why aren't you talking about Demon Slayer? Because there's Demon Slayer here. Yes, Demon Slayer is also happening right now, but that is not part of Cool Japan. We're gonna be doing that in a separate video, so keep an eye out for that. But for now, we're gonna go do Monster Hunter. They have lockers and stuff that you can put your belongings in. So I'm putting my backpack in there and my jacket and stuff. Here we go. All right, so we're doing this. It's all in English, which is good. <laughs> Ooh, we get to select our avatar. Oh yeah, let's do that. Switch axe. I love that it's available in English, that's really good. Hi. おお、え、装備を手当ていただいて体験となりますが、もし皆さんに集まっていただきましたとして、我々はその厳しい視線環境に耐えながら一夜モンスターの気を振り返ってこのまま<笑> A few moments later. <laughs> that was brilliant. I enjoyed that so much. It was such a weird feeling. We were walking through it. We were, we were going through it, is what we were doing. The, I had a gigantic sword fighting the monsters, and I had to like block and everything, and there's the cats. The cats were cute. And we fell, and there was ice everywhere, and then we fell again, and then there was more fighting, and then I shot the slinger, and then things blew up, and then I walked through a cavern and I was grabbing all the items. That was so fun. I, oh, I wanna do that again. If you're a Monster Hunter fan, you have to do this. This was fantastic. Now, the only thing I'll say, the whole thing was in Japanese, 
It's pretty straightforward. They do, like, you can kind of tell what's going on, but everything is done in Japanese, so just kind of keep that in mind once you're inside the game. Everything else before that, as you saw, there was stuff in English. But don't let that stop you. It is so fun. I'm gonna go do it again. After fighting all those monsters, you know what is really good? A feast. Yes, we are here in Jurassic Park. They have overlaid one of the restaurants here into Monster Hunter. It is decked to the nines, felines that is. It is adorable in here and if you played the game, uh, this just makes me so happy. <laughs> I, just, I love the theming in here and we have a lot of food, a lot of food to build up your stamina, to replenish your health and just cute stuff. That's not all though. There is an AR component to go with your food so I'm gonna show you that really quick before we eat. There's a QR code here on the table, so I scanned it, and we have a menu that's popping up here. I can change it to English. And you get to pick your food, and it's only for some of the items, so our main plate that we have is included, plus our drink. Okay, we're gonna do the first one here. So start AR. Please enjoy mute mode turned off as there will be sound, okay. Oh, is it like this? Oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, that is so fun. I want to pet you. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, drink, drink next. I want more, I want more. Oh, it's my drink. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, start. Oh. Oh. It fills up when you drink it. <laughs> That's fun, you can take a picture. Very blurry one, but that's okay. That is fun. Well, since I already took a sip of this, we'll start with this. This is a honey and green apple recovery drink to, as you saw, it recovers your health. Stir it up. The presentation on this is pretty fun. The honey is very nice. Is there, there's little seeds in here. I'm not sure what the seeds are. The green apple is definitely in there too. It's incredibly sweet. It's an incredibly sweet drink. This is fun. Is it my favorite drink? No, it's not. It's a little, maybe a little overly too sweet for me. That AR thing was fun though. I really, I really thought that was fun. Let's go hunting is what this is called. There is a ton of meat on this. There is ribs, there is sausage, there is kebab, there is a big old baked potato and a steamed bun and some salad. And it also comes with a drink and one of 20 different coasters. Comes in a little blind bag. I haven't opened this yet, so you're opening this with me on camera. I can't even see what it is. I can't say, I don't know what it is. What is it? What is it? Oh, I don't know that one. <laughs> That is cool though. So there's 20 different coasters. So if you want to come back and buy 20 different food items, you can. I don't think anyone will do that, but still, that's fun. There's a lot on this. I don't know, let's try it. Let's, let's go with this first. This must be beef, I think. There's some good seasoning on this. Mmm. I just can't believe how much meat there is on this plate. You could probably share this with two people, honestly. Ooh. Yeah, there's some spices on here too, so there's a little bit of a spice to it. Big old sausage. Again, there's spices on here, nice and flavorful, nice and juicy. I'm a fan. Oh, is this like a vegetable medley maybe? That'd be nice. There's vegetables, I see some zucchini in here and red peppers.
don't touch me. So the vegetables were bathed in barbecue sauce. So it was a nice tangy barbecue sauce. Now this, I believe, is a pork rib. And there's some barbecue sauce on this too. We're after chewing for what felt like two hours. <laughs> Finally got it. It's very chewy. Let's just put it that way. The barbecue sauce is nice. It's the same that they put on vegetable medley here. I think this is the same one that they use for the pork rib outside, the black pepper one. I think I would have preferred that. There's not enough, there's not enough seasoning on this compared to everything else. Look how cute that is. Look at it, look at it. Actually, let's open it from the back. And there's nothing inside. It's just a <laughs> it's just bread. It's nice and sweet. I thought there was going to be something in it. <laughs> and a big old baked potato. Just straight up. This skin is nicely seasoned. There's a lot of seasoning on it. I think it's the same that they use on the meat. So that's nice. I thought it was just going to be just a plain old baked potato. There's nothing in the inside. I wish maybe it was filled with butter or something. That probably would have made it better. What well, would have been perfect if it was a baked potato with sour cream and bacon bits and chives. That would have been brilliant. And cheese. That's not too much to ask for, right? You'd have that in the middle of the wilderness, in the middle of the, the frozen, the frozen tundra, right? You would have those things. And there's a little salad here. It's a little avocado salad with shrimp and it looks like there's chickpeas and some other vegetables. Like, it looks like other pepper, peppers. I'm just gonna eat around the shrimp. It's an avocado salad. Ooh, the chickpeas are nice though. Overall, this is very meat heavy. Most of the meats are nicely seasoned. I just wish the pork was a little bit more seasoned or maybe more barbecue sauce. And something else with the potato I think would have been lovely. But overall though, this is really fun. I love the AR component to it. And it is delicious overall, just with a couple minor tweaks is all. That's all I ask. This is adorable. We have a big feline doll, honey and lemon mousse. Look at that presentation. You can see the stitch lines on it. That's all I can say. I don't want to eat this. Okay, turn away and just... Okay, I'm so sorry. Look at the inside there. Find out what that is. The mousse, I believe, is lemon. It's like a milky lemon flavor. That's actually quite nice. It's not overly sweet. Nice and creamy. The jelly is lemon. It's incredibly tart. I love a tart lemon. Mmm. That's good. Where's the honey? I guess the honey... I can kind of taste the honey. It's a little subtle. Maybe a little too subtle. The lemon is kind of overpowering it. Or maybe it's in this. It's in the little base of the, the pastry. Can't really taste the honey all that much. The lemon is really overpowering, but I'm not mad at that. I love lemon. This is really good. I was, I was a little leery because, you know, me and Moose desserts are kind of, we have a love-hate relationship, right? The base is a candy. I thought it was chocolate. Well done. I love how true to the game the food was. They put a lot of thought and effort into this. So if you're a fan of Monster Hunter, definitely come here because it's great. I love the theming in here, the little coaster. Even the outfits that the staff are wearing are super cute. They have the little ears on their hats. It's mm, so cute. There's a mystery calling. We gotta go, we gotta go. We're gonna be doing Detective Conan the Escape. They escaped, all right. <laughs> We're gonna be doing this. It's an escape room and I've never done this before. Let's do it.
これから出題する私が作った全てのクイズに正解しなければこの名はキングキュこの世界の謎を解き明かさんとする崇高な使命と哲学を忘れた者に猛省を促す者。It's telling us to go to a specific room. That's what it's saying here on the tablet. So we have an hour before the bomb explodes? All right, let's go. I don't know if I did it. I don't know if I did it. I don't know if I did it. Oh, nope, that was not it. Another part. We have 45 seconds. This is stressful. It's in English, thank goodness. I don't really know. Someone else got it. Thankfully, this is a team effort. I never would have got that. I wrote thick. <laughs> a few moments later. <laughs> we defused the bombs. Well, three of the four. <laughs> okay, I had zero idea what to expect with that. It's kind of like theater meets an escape room. It's this entire experience. So it's not just you going in, it's you and a group of people. And there's a whole story, obviously, with Detective Conan. And then everybody is doing the puzzles, but everyone gets kind of thrown around. People go upstairs, people go in the basement, people go here and everywhere, and I'm dancing. <laughs> the puzzles、oh, were hard, they were not easy. But they were in English. They were in multiple languages. So there was Japanese, there was English, there was Korean, and they also had it in traditional Chinese and also simplified Chinese. So there w a s a lot of languages on there. So if you're someone that is interested in Detective Conan and or you love escape rooms and want to try something different, Give this a try. It is an extra charge though, so just check the Universal Studios website on how to buy those tickets. I had a blast with this. <laughs> the puzzles were not easy, they were hard. I think I got like one or two. But with that said, we picked the worst spot to be filming. <laughs> With that said, I'm not a puzzle person. I'm not really great at them, so I struggled a little bit.、Woo. But yes, it was a lot of fun, and there's a lot of fan service. So, fans of Detective Conan, you're probably coming here anyway. You probably know about this. There's a lot of fan service, and the acting was great. It was, pretty, like, it was this big production at the beginning and the end. And a lot of the characters were running around as well as things were happening and going on. It was great, fantastic. Okay, with that said,、um, I am hungry, so I think、uh, we're gonna go get some more food. How's that sound? Sounds great to me. <laughs> Another first for me today, we're doing the Detective Conan restaurant, which is called Mystery Restaurant. I am looking forward to this too. Detective Conan Mystery Restaurant 2024. I don't know what to expect with this either. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one.
先ほどのたこ焼きで言いますと例えば「愛」の文字が該当しますわかりやすくピアノの鍵盤を使うと暗号符の「愛」にあたる「な」のフラットと「愛」に打ち立て「株のスープのともに」両方のチーム迷い可能で3本のファッションパンのためにそれではかなでさんお願いしますそれでは、メッセージのスクリーンで、ノートと、ノートコースポンドのレターを見るのは、シーツ。ちょっと見てみよう。めちゃくちゃ早いな<laughs> I honestly no idea what to expect, and that was wonderful. As you saw, it was all in Japanese, so you kind of have to see what's going on, but really quickly, the violin was faked. The guy was trying to take it, and then the fake was a fake. And in between all that drama, we got to eat some pretty delicious food. <laughs> Very interactive. 
I really like that. The music, she was spectacular. That is some talent. That was really good. And yes, that was live. That was all live. That was so fun. That was fun. I'm gonna keep drinking my drink. I need to decompress. Oh my goodness, I wanna show you something. Come, 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 come. So, in addition to the delicious food, there is also an option to get your photo taken. And we have a lovely souvenir here on the inside. I got my picture taken with the cast. How wonderful is that? And then you can also choose if you want extra photos of the cast as well. That is so lovely. And not only do you get the physical ones, you also get download codes for these. This is really nice. Like this is not cheap paper, cardboard. No, this has like a nice texture. Like it feels premium. That's how it feels. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's so much to do for Cool Japan here at Universal Studios Japan. So if you're planning to visit this year, please let me know in the comments. I want to know. All right, Explorers, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.